Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video we're going to see how to run a Next.js application using Bon and then dockerizing that application and finally running that Next.js application with a docker compose file as a container. So without any delay let's get down to work. So as you can see over here in the official documentations we've got some commands to get up and running with Next.js and then trying to run it with bond enabled or removing the dash dash bond to run it with node.js server so using all these commands i'm going to first set up a next.js application and get all the basic files set up and then i'll try to create the docker file to dockerize that application so right now i'll move to the terminal right over here i am in my github repository in the bond directory where i'll put all the files and configurations and anything that i create in my videos in this github repository for which you can find the relevant link down in the description section if you want to access the codes and follow along you can you can do so by cloning this repository so if i hit ls you can see that i've got some files ready but right now i don't have my next.js application files so let's first create the next.js project with bun enabled so i don't have bun installed on my machine but i'm going to use the official docker container in order to access the bun cli and do all the commands inside that container but mapping a directory to the outside of container so i'll be able to access all that files on my machine directly so so first command i'll try to say docker run i'll pass the dash dash rm to remove the container that will be created right after my work with this container is finished and dash it to run it in interactive mode so i'll be able to actually run commands inside this container and dash v to actually mount a directory inside the container so i'll be creating the project inside the container in this exact directory and as a result i'll be having those files in the dollar pwd slash app which is exactly the current directory and the slash app that will be created right over here and next i'll try to map port 3000 to exact same port inside the container so i'll be able to access that port from outside the container and actually i'll be able to make sure that everything is working correctly by running the next.js project with bond server and accessing it on the port 3000 of my machine so next i'm passing the official bond image and bash as the command that will be initially executed inside the container so if i run this it will go ahead and create a container and provide me with the bash session that is running inside that container so here i can say bon dash dash version in order to make sure that i can access the bond cli so as you can see by default i am in the exact same directory that i mapped to outside the container on the slash app directory and whatever i create in this directory will be available on the slash app directory outside this container so by using the bond create and i'll provide a name and by passing dot i am telling the bond cli to create all the files in the current directory and not go ahead and create another directory for this project so if i hit enter this will just ask me some questions whether i want to use typescript or not like i want to use eslint or not i'll just try to accept all the default answers but you can answer them based on your use cases so so as you can see after answering all the questions the cli is trying to install all the dependencies and basic files that is needed in order for my project to be able to run so i'll just wait until this installation is complete and come back shortly so for me it took a little bit more than a minute so right now if i hit ls you can see that all the project files for next.js has been created in the exact same directory so right now if i say bun dash dash bun in order to run it with bun server run dev and if i hit enter this is going to 
actually run my Next.js project using Bond server. And right now I'll be able to go to my machine's IP address on port 3000 in order to access this Next.js application. So I'll move to the browser and if I go to my machine's IP address on port 3000, hopefully I'll get the Next.js default page so that I can make sure that the project is running correctly inside the container exposing the port 3000 to outside the container. So right now I've got all the basic files for my Next.js project created and ready to be built and run as a container. So I'll move back to the terminal. I'll hit Control C to stop the server and I'll exit out of the container. So the container gets removed and if I hit LS, you can see that I've got the app directory right over here. And if I hit LS-LA, you can see that this directory is owned by the root user and that is because the container that we just created was running with the root user. So if I say chown dash r to own all the files and directories recursively in this directory and i'll pass my user's id and then i'll pass the app directory so my user owns all the files for the next.js project so i'll hit enter and i'm getting the permission error i'll say sudo chmod and if i hit ls la you can see that i am owning the app directory and also recursively all the files and directories inside the app directory so next as you can see i've got the docker file prepared right over here so i'll just try to move the docker file inside the app directory so i'll try to open this docker file in the vs code you can see that i'm using the exact same bun image as the base with some basic Docker instruction. So I'm defining the working directory as the exact same directory that is set by default in the bun image. And next I'll try to define the node env as the production. Then the thing that I'll do is to copy the package.json file and bun.log file to this working directory. And next I'll try to install all the dependencies inside the package.json file using the bun install dash dash frozen lock file so with this that all my dependencies have been installed i'll try to use another bun image and copy the node modules from the base image to the working directory in this new image as the release stage so right now that i've got my node modules directory and all the required dependencies installed in that node modules directory i'll try to copy all the files of the next.js project inside the image in the working directory and next by using the bun run build i'll try to build the next.js project and lastly by defining the command as the bun dash dash bun to use the bun server run start i'll try to actually run the built next.js project also finally over here i'm trying to expose the 3000 port that is the default port for the next.js application so later i'll be able to map this port when i want to create containers from this image and actually be able to access this next.js project from the outside network so the reason that I first copied the package.json file inside the image and installed the dependencies and then tried to copy all the other files of the project inside the image is that as you might already know docker will actually try to create a layer for each instruction in this docker file that we define and actually it will cache all the layers for the next users if there are no changes in those relevant files or layers it will be using the cached layers and and as a result will have much more faster build times so right now with having the docker file set up and ready i'll go back to the terminal and as you can see i've got a docker ignore file also i'll try to move that docker ignore file to the app directory right next to the docker file with the name dot docker ignore file so if i nano the app dot docker ignore file so basically in this file we define the files and directories that we want docker engine to ignore and does not actually copy 
to inside the images when we want to build images and also changes to these files and directories will not affect the cache layers of docker build so i'm passing node modules and dot next directory and this exact file to be ignored by the docker build command so i'll exit the nano and if i hit ls I'll move to the app directory and ls again. You can see that my Docker file is located right next to my next project. And by saying Docker build, by passing dash t, I'm able to give this image a name and dot at the end in order to pass the context for the Docker build command to use exactly same directory that I am in right now. So I'll hit enter and let docker do its thing and build my image with all the dependencies and bun installed also including my next project so it might take some minutes so i'll come back when the docker build command is finished so it took some minutes for docker build command to execute all the instructions that i defined in the docker file and as you can see my image is created and the next.js project is built inside that image and right now i am ready to create containers from this image in order to run my next.js project so if i say docker images and i'll try to grab bun underline next you can see that i've got that image that is built just a minute ago so right now that i have my image ready for running containers from this image i'll try to use docker compose and create a docker compose.yaml file in which i'll try to define and manage my containers so i'll hit ls dot dot so i'll move to the parent directory i'll hit ls and you can see that i've got the docker compose file right over here if i try to nano the docker compose file you can see that i've got only one service that i've named it my bun which is using the exact same image that we just created and mapping the port 3000 to exact same port inside the container so as you can remember we exposed the exact same port in the docker file so right over here we can map that port to outside the container using whatever port that we desire on the outside network and using that port we'll be able to access the next.js project running inside that container and i've passed the restored policy to always so for whatever reason that our container gets destroyed or stopped the docker engine will try to recreate and rerun this container so i'll exit the nano and by saying docker compose op dash d in order to run this in detached mode and as a result you can see that a network has been created and also a container attaching to that container so right now if i say docker compose ps you can see that a container is running which is created just seconds ago and mapping the exact same port to inside the container so if i say docker compose logs dash f to follow the logs and dash dash tail to grab the latest 100 lines of the logs of this container and i'll hit enter and you can see that the next.js project is running inside the container and again if i move to the browser and try to refresh this page you can see that i'm still getting the response from the next.js project this time running as a container so i'll hit ctrl c and try to destroy the container so i'll say docker compose down and my container will be stopped and removed and if i go back to the browser and hit refresh you can see that i am no longer getting the response from the container because apparently there is no more a container running with my next.js project in it so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this one if you have any questions any recommendations of course go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below also you can watch the previous episodes in this playlist dedicated to bond where you can learn 
some details about Bun and Docker, like creating chat applications and cool stuff like that. So if you are interested, you can find the playlist link in the description section of this video. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe to help grow the channel and motivate me to create more free contents like this. And with that, I hope to see you in the next videos.